hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to introduce you to a very interesting project around retrieval augmented generation a retrieval augmented generation is a way for you to provide context around your own data to large language models if your company has heaps of data stored in databases or in confluence or any other data repository and if you want it to be used and augmented with the LLM responses, then you need to use a RAG. But building a reliable RAG pipeline seems increasingly like navigating a maze with so many techniques and there are a lot of options there. For example, if you look at a typical RAG pipeline, what it does is it picks up your data after, of course, pre-processing it. It then splits it or chunks it. Afterwards, it converts it into numerical representations or embedding with a embedding model then it gets stored into a vector store and then it gets re-ranked there and retrieved now for all of these separate steps there are so many options and it is very overwhelming if you have ever tried to build a production grade rack pipeline because there are multiple chunkers embedders retrievers and in order to come up with the most optimal and best best rag setup for your data and use case can be real hard that is why this project rag builder tries to help out the main objective of, of this rag builder is to automatically find the best performing rag pipeline for your data and use case they support a lot of rag options like reciprocal rag fusion hybrid rag height semantic chunker query rewrite step back prompting and the pro uh, project is evolving so there will be a lot more support in the coming days including graph rag i suppose so they also offer you some ready to use templates which allow you to quickly run experiments against your own data evaluate the performance and then tweak them to fit your own unique needs in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works before i do that let me give a huge Thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So, let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's create a Conda environment called as RAG. Let's wait for it to finish. And then we will move forward. This is going to take a bit of a time. And by the way, I will be using Docker for it. That's the easiest way to get it installed. So I would highly recommend that you install a Docker. And you can use the same commands on Windows, Mac, or whatever operating system you are using. You already have docker installed and if you don't know how to install docker please search my channel i already have done a very step-by-step -step easy video to get the docker installed so docker is done let me clear the screen let me quickly show you my docker version so this is one of the recent versions from docker let me clear the screen next up let's download the docker compose file which makes it so easy to um, run this in a docker way it will start everything together and we can also clean it up very easily maybe i'll just create a folder called as rag and then i'll just it will just help me keep everything separate for the future cleanup so i'm just downloading this docker compose file if you do ls-ltr here you will see that now we have our docker compose file that is cool uh, next up let's also grab the .env file from the same report i will drop the link to it in video description now if you do ls ldra you will see that we have .env file now if you open this .env file you will see that there are a lot of options which you can use this rag builder with for instance you can use it with openai you can use it with mistral hugging face gina grok azure lot of stuff is there you can even specify your own vector store you can use olama based url 
so you see that i am using uh, you can use this http or you could even use the docker version but i would suggest you just keep it like this so that it will be able to access it and if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest tool to run large language models locally and very easily so if i quickly show you i already have olama running here and you see that olama is running with llama 3.1 a latest model i also have an embedding model installed if you don't know how to run olama and use it please search my channel i think i have done more than 500 videos just on olama so please have a look okay so we have our downloaded our files which we need we have docker installed and we also have our um, everything set up including olama now another thing i would highly suggest you do is to make sure that you have set these permissions on the docker daemon so that it will be able to run so i have just set this permission and that's about it now you can either set your open api key if you don't want to use olama or any mistral api key in the environment here now let me clear the screen and then i will run my docker compose file and this is how you run your docker compose with docker and maybe just remove this dash from here because that is an older syntax i'm just going to go with docker space compose up dash d which is in the detached mode and as soon as you run it it is going to start downloading all the docker images and then it is going to run it so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time because you can see the size is just close to 8 gigabyte and everything is installed now let's go and access this application is in our browser now so let me open my browser and there you go you can see that rag builder is now running in my local host at port 55003 now here all you need to do is to click on this new project and you are good to go but before that let's browse through this is a dashboard you can check out the docs or whatever documentation is available from here let's click on new project here you can just give it any information your source data which you can of course select your own data here but for the purpose of our video we are just going to use a url and of course you can use your own local files if you like and then you can either select their predefined rag templates which i just mentioned above um, so this will include predefined rag configuration templates that have demonstrated strong performance across various data sets and related use cases and these templates will be evaluated against your data providing you with performance metrics for each predefined configuration but if you select um, this custom rack configuration this is going to generate multiple rack configuration based on detailed parameters like chunking strategy chunking size embedding model retriever type etc and with this option it is really recommended that you opt for the Bayesian optimization option to efficiently identify the near optimal rack configuration for your data so i'm just going to click on next here now you see that there are a lot of predefined rack templates which you can include like um curie rewrite step back prompting semantic and of course if you are using an api based one like i'm using this open ai but you can even go with olama if you like you just you just need to select olama and then you will select your local model here or even for embedding model you can go with olama and then you can use your own one so for that all you need to do is to uh, if you remember that we were using llama 3.18 billion let me do that so i have selected both the llm in my olama plus my embedding model and i have unselected all of it except this one the rack template i just want to make it quick that is why otherwise i have seen people spending hours on it for some reason okay let's click next and on the next screen you will see that there are a lot of other options where you can give detailed rack parameters and all that stuff so what i have done is i have just unselected everything but for the chunking or splitting i have selected markdown let's keep the chunk size as is and then for embedding model i have gone with olama as again let's keep the vector db as is i haven't selected anything else and then for the embedding model is this retriever is vector db similarity search there are a lot of other options but let's go with this 
I'm just going to go with top K as 5 and then no re-ranking and for LLM with Olama's Lama 3.1 and for optimization setting I'm going with the recommended Bayesian optimization and this is Bayesian optimization is a probabilistic approach to optimize complex functions by iteratively sampling the most promising solution using Bayesian inference to balance exploration and exploitation. Um, so it is primarily a smart way to find the best setting for a system by efficiently searching the possibilities. Okay, so that is done. Let me click on next now. And then in the next screen, you, we need to select our evaluation fram framework. We are going with Ragas. Ragas is primarily a RAG evaluation framework where you can check out different configurations. I already have covered it in detail on the channel. Next, we are again selecting embedding model and our LLM for evaluation. And then either you could provide your own uh, test data set or you could just simply go with this one. I'm just going to ask it to generate a synthetic data set. And then on the next screen, it shows you all the summary of the stuff which we have done. And here you just need to uh, click on confirm. And then as soon as you click on confirm, you can see that it is progressing. It is using our um, model here on the the one which we have given it is generating it and this takes a lot of time so let's wait for it to finish at the moment luckily it is showing just two minutes which is great let's wait for it to come back but you can see that as it is progressing the time the eta is increasing so let's wait for it to finish i have seen it taking some times even two hours so hopefully this will finish quickly so it has finished generating the synthetic data set and now it is evaluating. So let's wait for it. Okay guys, it's been like almost four hours now and I'm sitting like a duck <laughs> just waiting for it to finish. But it seems it takes a lot of time and still uh, it is going into the circles again and again. So I think there are two things which they badly need to improve. First. This time, I don't think so. Anyone is going to wait four to seven hours um, to get the results back with the local models. And I have checked their repo. I have checked on a few other social media sites. And even with API based ones, people have been waiting for hours and hours to get the results back, which is a big no no. And I don't think so that is workable. Even um, for the fact that the thing which they are doing is really valuable but I don't think so anyone is going to wait for that much longer, especially with API based ones. Secondly, these errors, um, still it is working and I could see that it is connected to the old Lama making API calls, but still these errors, which says that cannot connect to the host. I think they also should um, suppress either these false alarms or better resolve it. Now, I'm just going to stop it. I'm not going to wait any further. I have a lot of other things to do. so. But I can show you how it looks like from one of their video which they have on their GitHub repo. So once it is finished, this shows you the run IDs, lot of run IDs are there. And then it tells you that um, this is the rack config it used and some of the correctness of the answer recall. And then you can check it from here, which one is good and which one is not. Similarly, another cool thing is that you can simply get the code which it used, something like for the lang chain and stuff. This is the one. And then you can simply take that code for the rack pipeline. And if you're happy with the configuration, of course, and then run it in your own system. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. Uh, very early days for a project. So let's cut them some slack and hopefully they will, they will improve it. And once they improve it, especially this time thing, I'm going to review them again to see how that looks like. And I'll report back. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.